today is April 14th. On March 17th, I made a video on starting seeds in the soil. So I thought we could do a follow up and see how the seeds are doing. Here is a spinach seedling. So these seeds were started in the soil around March 17th. It's now April 14th. You can see how the first set of leaves right here, these long narrow leaves, these are the cotyledon. These are also called the seed leaves. And then these rounder ones in the center, these are the first set of true leaves. So the rest of the spinach leaves will look like these. Here's some more spinach seedlings. Looks like I did not space these seeds out enough. Here are some snap pea seedlings. These are doing really well. We just had several inches of snow in the past few days and some really cold temperature drops, but because these are frost tolerant seeds that we planted, the majority of these seedlings are doing just fine. This beauty is an Easter egg radish seedling. Here I have some arugula that I did not plant this year. I actually planted this four years ago and every year it self seeds and comes up in the early spring. Here's a strawberry plant that also did just fine with all that snow. So here's an example of a plant that's been frost damaged. This is an edamame that I planted a few days before the snow and the drop in temperatures. This seedling does not look very good. I'm most likely going to have to replant this edamame. Here is some rhubarb that looks like it was damaged probably by the weight of the snow. The, um, the leaves that aren't doing so well, they'll probably die. I'll pull them off when they get brown and crispy and we'll have a whole new set of regrowth. And the last plant today we're gonna look at is the lemon balm. The lemon balm looks just fine. There's a little bit of damage on the edge of this leaf and here as well, but this will recover quickly and easily.